You know the problem with Hollywood is? They make shit. Unbelievable, unremarkable shit. Now, I'm not some grungy wannabe filmmaker that's searching for existentialism through a haze of bong smoke or something. <laughs> no, it's easy to pick apart bad acting, short-sighted directing, and the purely moronic stringing together of words that many of the studios term as prose. No, I'm talking about the lack of realism. Realism. Not a pervasive element in today's modern American cinematic vision. Take Dog Day Afternoon, for example. Arguably Pacino's best work, short of Scarface and Godfather Part One, of course. Masterpiece of directing, easily Lamette's best. The cinematography, the, the acting, the screenplay, all top notch, but. They didn't push the envelope. Now, what if in Dog Day, Sonny really wanted to get away? What if, now this is the tricky part, what if he started killing hostages right away? No mercy, no quarter. Meet our demands are the pretty blonde and the bell bottoms gets it in the back of the head, bam, splat. What, still no bus? Come on. How many innocent victims splattered across a window would it take to have the city reverse its policy on hostage situations? And this is 1976, there's no CNN, there's no CNBC, there's no, there's no internet. Fast forward to today, present time, same situation. How quickly would the modern media make a frenzy over the city? In a matter of hours, it would be the, the biggest story from Boston to Budapest. 10 hostages died. 20, 30, relentless, bam, bam, one after another. All caught in high def, computer enhanced, color corrected. You practically taste the brain matter. All for what, a bus, a plane? A couple of million dollars, it's federally insured. I don't think so, but just a thought. I mean, it's not within the realm of conventional cinema, but what if? Oh, my God.